Yo, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be a, a video review of the uh, Carlos Condit versus uh, Nick Diaz uh, fight. Uh, wow, what an upset. So uh, Carlos Condit had actually beats Nick Diaz. It's pretty unbelievable. I mean, no, like almost nobody called this one. Uh, biggest upset of the year so far, for sure. I know we haven't had too many fights this year, but definitely this will be one of the biggest upsets of the year. And uh, so after this, we'll get to see uh, GSP against uh, Carlos. Uh, kind of sucks, man, because so many times, like one to see Diaz against GSP we just we really wanted to see it you know the good guy versus the bad guy which is the perfect matchup just the, the everything was perfect it was like uh, scripted you know that's how perfect it was you know for uh, for the championship would have been amazing to see you know something along the lines of what you see in WWE with the good guy and the bad guy going off finally and uh, you know uh, Diaz up to his old tricks again talking trash you know uh, Stockton uh, beat down trash talking you know trying to Trying to turn this into, uh, you know, a, a less technical fight, more of a brawl, and uh, Carlos had uh, absolutely none of it. Um, just using better technical striking and scoring um, to try to win the decision. You know, I don't really think that, uh, you know, many times here Carlos really tried to finish this fight. I think his game plan and Greg Jackson, uh, their game plan was probably to win a decision because the thing about uh, uh, Carlos is he's got a good style in the matchup, Nick Diaz. He doesn't carry around a lot of muscle and he's a really skinny guy. So uh, Diaz's cardio against uh, Carlos, stylistically, you know, he's kind of a bad matchup for Diaz because his cardio all of a sudden becomes not so much of an advantage anymore like it is against a lot of the other guys. A lot of the other guys who carry more muscle might be a little bit, um, you know, shorter, uh, but have more muscle. Like GSP is very muscular for, for that weight. Um, uh, muscles require oxygen, you know, so skinnier guys that don't have as much muscle um, have better cardio. You know, when you look at long distance runners, uh, long distance, car you know, cardio. Um, Long distance runners, cross country runners, they always, you know, they don't carry around too, too much muscle on them. For, for, versus, for example, a sprinter uh, or, or, you know, a power lifter and these type of guys that do uh, fast twitch, you know, um, you know, for short periods of time. Um, it could be lifting weights or sprinting, for example. Um, they have, you know, bigger muscles and those require more oxygen. Uh, Carlos is a really skinny guy. You know, he's pretty much just as skinny as Nick. You know, I mean, they're very similar in body type. So he was able to, you know, use that and not get tired out and, and win a decision here. What an upset. Just absolutely crazy. I don't know anybody who called this one. Uh, of course, people are going to come out of the woodwork and say, no, I called this, yada, yada, yada. Almost everybody thought Nick Diaz was going to run through Carlos. Uh, definitely, he ended up actually being the spoiler. It's very, very bizarre to see. Uh, shocking upset for sure. Um, you know, we we all wanted. I think we all kind of wanted Nick to win. Even GSP said he wanted Nick to win so that he could fight him and, and shut him up. Maybe we'll see him fight him again eventually. It sounds good to me because um, you know it's going to be a big money maker when Diaz and GSP actually do throw down. Um, so I guess we'll be seeing uh, Carlos against uh, GSP. I'll do a five video prediction for that in a few, probably a few days, up to a couple weeks. Um, damn, man, I really wanted to see Diaz against GSP. Oh well, it uh, you know it sucks, but um, whatever. You know Diaz, he should have used a little bit more technique. He should have checked the kicks better. You know he just um, he just got caught in a scoring match. You know. Um, uh, like, for example, Leona Machida is a guy that, um, you know, when he was in his early career, he fought in MMA like it was a karate match with, with scoring. You know, that's the way he fought. He he would use, uh, you know, his technique and his elusiveness to score points and beat the guy in terms of uh, damage, avoid, be elusive, avoid damage, and, uh, you know, dart in and, uh, you know, throw kicks or punches and then come out. And he won so many fights like that. If you guys remember, so many fights uh, in a row. Leota was undefeated at one point. Just from that was his whole style. And uh, Carlos here was able to. Uh, I don't want to say exactly mimic that because he did it in his own way. But he was able to turn this into you know a scoring match and go for the decision victory. Um, because you know knocking out Nick Diaz is not an easy task. Finishing Nick Diaz is 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 really not easy to do so you know most of the time you know if guys are going to beat diaz they're going to have to go for a decision the biggest thing was was i think a lot of people were really surprised to see that he was able to keep up the pace he was able to stick to his game plan he didn't get into a brawl with diaz and he was able to take home the victory here so wow just a shocking upset let me know what you guys think about the fight and uh let me know what you think about uh conduit against or conduit against uh gsp i mean 
I don't know. For me, it's a big downer because I just like that fight. I mean, it'll be a good fight, and he deserves it. Obviously, he's the interim champion. But you know, I I don't know. I just really wanted to see Diaz. Kind of sucks, guys. Anyway, that's it for this video. See you for the next one, guys. Peace.